rumor has it, rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name, or you gossiping, or you chatty patty. I'm gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Yes. Right. On The Breakfast Club. All right, now Smokey Robinson, he was he's been on The Breakfast Club before, of course. Yeah. He was uh doing an interview with Vlad TV. Now I what love up, Vlad. I love when these celebrities get a, a, a little older and just start talking and just start telling their story. And it's always the best because you get so much information. Well, he was talking about uh his relationship with Diana Ross. But she wrote a book at one point and she said the two of you actually were dating at one point. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did that last a long time or was that just sort of brief and well, it lasted uh, probably longer than it should because I was married at the time. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, so this happened later. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. that happened later. Okay. That happened after I got married, uh, you know, after I got them signed up in Motown and all that. That's when uh-huh. that started. Well, so Diana Ross was the side chick? I guess. I don't know. Man, yeah, that's what he said. She, she got a record deal out the situation. What, you, what, <laughs> what y'all up. young ladies getting for sleeping with these married men out here? Shut huh? up, man. Not Shut a damn up. thing. Now, uh, shout to who? Lonely kid. Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs> after y'all that's coming up. Well, they could get a cockroach named after him. The Bronx that's who has right. this new yeah, thing now true. that you can. That's true. If you can't, if you can't think about what you're going to get your boo, you know, you can um, pay fifteen dollars and you can name a cockroach after your boo. That is a fact. If you're in the Bronx and you're dating a married man and he can't at least get you a cockroach for, for Valentine's, something wrong. You need to keep your vagina to yourself from now on. And we're not making it up. That's true. You can check out the Bronx that's, that's and we'll definitely fact. do it. Yep. Now, Tiger was uh, kicking it with Who Kid and Mike Tyson on Hot Boxing, and they were talking about his relationship with Pop Smoke and why he had to be removed off of a song. Pop Smoke, man. How was that put together? Was it a cool relationship with him back then? Yeah, so we did. We had did two records before he passed, um, and then one of them, it was a conflict on it. So I was like, it's cool. Take me off of it. I ain't tripping. Somebody else didn't want me on the song, right? So it was another artist. Oh, wow. So... I, uh, I was like, it's cool, I ain't tripping, like, whatever, let's just do something else. And he was cool like that. Um, then we did another song, and then uh, we finished it, but we didn't finish the final song because he had passed right before the album came out. Oh, wow. But he had texted me, and he was like, yo, I want to put um, a Latin artist on it, a female artist, like, who do you think? And I was like, dude, we should put Carol G on it, because at the time I was she like, does, Carol G it. popping, let's mm-hmm. put her on it. So we ended up putting her on it for the album. And he also talks about how he knew Pop Smoke was a star. Uh, knowing him, like, what, what was your, the way you looked at him? I mean, he was oh, he was, cool. he was out of here, bro. He was, yeah. he was different, bro. He was a star, like, his whole vibe, you know what I'm saying? He would have, he definitely would have changed, like, rap as far as, like, what it feels now. Because, like you said, he, it was almost like when 50 came out, mm-hmm. like, it was super gangster, but then, like, he started doing melody and started doing those records and those records became bigger wow. i feel like pop smoke too like his melodic records is bigger than his like street songs mm. you know? yeah i mean he's absolutely right though i mean pop smoke was 100 percent that next new york rap superstar like you i don't know. even think new york i just think that superstar i think he would have been he oh no I, I just say new york superstar because you know new york always produces a superstar mm-hmm. I mean, new york always produces an international superstar you right. know before pop it was cardi right you know what i mean and pop would have absolutely been that next international rap superstar from New York. He was already doing movies. He was starring yeah. in Boogie. Yeah. You know, I had a small role in Boogie as well. Salute to Eddie Hunk. But, you know, yeah, you can go look at Boogie now, but Pop was, yeah, Pop was out of here. Now, uh, we, we've we been talking about it all week. Of course, Chance the Rapper and Vic Mensa did this huge concert out in Ghana. 50,000 fans, no problems, no incidents. Black Star Line Festival. Yeah, the Black Star Line Festival. And people are not necessarily talking about that. They're talking about the criticism because he had Dave Chappelle and Dave Chappelle's past anti-trans uh, jokes and Talib Kweli bands and NB, he's, I he's, never heard this until you said it just now. Really? <laughs> no. Yeah, that people are. I never are, heard any of this. Are complaining about that? Well, he responded to it. Huh? Yeah, he responded to it. He said they were complaining because he had Dave Chappelle there and Talib Kweli. Um, but he responded. He just says, "I'm not even thinking about that." He said, "I wanted to create a festival that my people can actually infor, uh, afford." He said, "I always wanted this festival to, to do something that." other festivals couldn't do it provided access to people that don't typically get to go to these concerts because a lot of these events around the world price people out and i wanted to create something that my people could afford i didn't hear about any of this until envy said it who are these people we have to start citing our sources if it's just randoms on social media making noise we should not care uh i was in ghana the week prior to the black star line festival i saw well, I, I was there the week prior and some of that week and i, I saw a chance and vic out there and i would have the kids didn't have school Mm-hmm. I would have stayed for that festival. Right. 
I just think it's a great thing what they did, and and, that, and that's a beautiful thing. Hopefully, yeah, they do it each and every year. We had a hopefully ball I get a chance to get down there and, and see that festival. Salute to Ghana, man. We had a ball in Ghana. Drop on the clues bounce for the Silver Fox once again. Silver Fox is a script club in Ghana. My wife and I had a ball. How much did you spend? How much did I spend in the script club? Tell Brandon to come here real quick. Brandon, how much did I spend? Because I, I, I spent American dollars, but you know the American dollars I spent don't sound as big as the. Now, how much is how much is the American dollar to the Ghana it's dollar? About ten to one exchange, so ten cities is one dollar. Okay, about, so yeah, if yeah. I spent fifteen hundred dollars in the script club, how much Unc spent? About fifteen thousand. Fifteen oh. right? That's all. <laughs> wait, wait, you said fifteen hundred. If I spent fifteen hundred American dollars. Yeah, fifteen thousand. So fifteen thousand. Hey, I dropped fifteen thousand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped fifteen thousand Ghana dollars in the, script, in, in the script club. Yeah, in in Silver Fox. All yep. right. We balled out. All right. That was just me, though. I, you know, I had people with me throwing they, throwing money. Too. That money? Yeah. My so goodness. we might have dropped about 100. 100 what? 100, <laughs> what is it, cities? Cities, yes. Yeah, cities. 100 cities. Oh, my goodness. You know what I'm saying? All right. Well, that is your rumor <laughs> report. All right. When we come back, we got the People's Choice Mix. And have you guys been watching this show on HBO? I heard it's pretty dope. It's called The Last of Us. Uh, they said it's uh, HBO's, uh, I guess, big show on Sundays now. It's about Oh, a- I did see it. It's about, I guess, it's some fungus that's taking over people and making them like zombies or something. I didn't know what it was about. My wife was watching. I did watch it. On, we were watching it Saturday night, actually. The Last of Us. That's what it's called. Yeah, hit me on, on social. I want I want to know how it is before I start watching. It's I only one the, episode. Yeah, I don't usually watch them zombie type of movies and all that. I'm not into that, but I heard this is really good. It's only yeah, it's only been one episode. If I rec- from what I saw, I saw season one, episode one. Okay. All right. Well, it's the People's Choice Mix is up next. Let's go. 